These blood-sucking night crawlers, known as bed bugs, reap fear and disgust. They cause itchy bites, and it can cost thousands of dollars to get rid of them. I don't like them. I, I can say that categorically. They're nasty. I think that sometimes people bring them back from um, vacations. Nasty, nasty. I've had them before. Uh, once you got them, it's hard to get rid of them. Infestations have been a problem for years right across the country. Cities have been dealing with bed bugs in library books, in courthouses and hospitals. Experts even met in Toronto four years ago for a bed bug summit to discuss the problem. Now this team of scientists at Simon Fraser University says it's developed an early detection tool in the bed bug fight. They've found a way to lure them using pheromones, chemicals produced by the bugs themselves. Once in a trap, a histamine prevents them from moving. They will make physical contact and then they stay put. He says to win the bed bug battle, it's critical to get them before they start laying thousands of eggs and multiplying. And that means that you can a bit later pick up that trap, take a look whether or not you have captured bed bugs, and um, if they are there, you know you have a problem and you can um, take measures to get rid of your infestation. The lure used to attract the bed bugs was developed with the help of a chemist at the university. They isolated pheromones from the pest's own feces and skin castings to make the secret ingredient. His wife, Regina, endured 180,000 bed bug bites during five years of research. First, I didn't really want to because it's kind of not so nice, but we wanted the research done and you have to do this. She wanted to avoid testing using guinea pigs, so she fed them her own blood once a week. But it all paid off. They're working with a company in Victoria and hope to make the bed bug trap available to the public next year. Mira Baines, CBC News, Vancouver.